Hi everybody, Dr. Syed here at Dermaskin Institute. Today we're going to be doing the treatment of the forehead. So it's off-label for uh, this port, uh, but it's an area we specifically use a lot. Okay, so you have to have some uh, a little more extra caution with this just because of eyelid ptosis, meaning the drop of the eyelid. So when we assess the patients, always, 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 no cookie cutter, it's going to be directly for her. So everybody's unique. So each time we inject, it's slightly different. I don't have maps. You know, I'm not a geography major. You know, I do what I see. Okay, so we'll look at our patient. Uh, let's have a look. So lift up, okay? So first thing you notice, everybody, everybody, everybody is always a little bit asymmetric. So you can see she's stronger here than she is here. So not as many lines up here as there are here. So that's gonna dictate a little bit what we do. Frown, look at that beautiful frown. So we already erased her 11s. Frown, frown, frown. Yeah, she's not frowning. Squint your eyes. Yeah, look at that. No crow's feet. Okay, excellent. So now we're gonna go a little off label. We're gonna treat these bad boys. Okay, so lift up for me. Okay, so this is my technique right there. So we, we want to make, make sure we get rid of Captain Spock. Okay, we never want to have super high arches. Okay, so what we want to do is right there. So this is the direction of the vector right here. So right there, Captain Spock, bye-bye. Okay, so we're gonna erase that. We don't need the rest. And same for here, lift up. So at the maximum point, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and then one to the side, one to the edge. And lift up and relax. So I'm just following where her lines are. And I'm just kind of doing all of that. Oh, lift, lift up, up. Okay. Lift up, good. And then on the side where she has less, I'm gonna put in less. Lift up. Okay, and left up. Okay, so simple enough, we're just gonna count. Lift up. And relax. One, two, three, four, five. Lift up. Six. Relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, twenty. So we're gonna do twenty-five. Okay, so we don't I don't use twenty-five fully, so we're gonna be basically doing eleven units into twenty-five. So it's gonna be nice dilution, almost half. So I don't always do half, it depends on what I see. Um, so we're gonna do that. Alright, and then we'll show you our technique in a second once we get everything ready. Institute. So we're going to be injecting, again, off-label site, okay? So you have to know what you're doing. You have to be careful about what we do. When I, whenever I'm injecting here, I'm worried also about the eyes falling down. So lift up. This muscle pulls up. See how it pulls up the eyelid. Close your eyes real tight, okay? So this muscle closes the eyes. So we've already done this before when we treated her eyes and we treated her glabella area. Uh, so I always like to do at least a mini eye. Why? Because we're giving the eye the treatment is actually going to relax this muscle that closes. It's going to lift up the eyebrow. So that's how you get a brow lift. So now I'm much more safer to treat her forehead off label and really minimize the chance. Again, I'm at least one centimeter above on all sides because that's again going to reduce your chance of having eyelid ptosis. You don't want her squinting at you like this. You know, we don't want pirates in our practice. Okay, so. Really important to do it. So then, how do we treat it? So how do we inject, okay? So these are tiny little micro aliquots. You want to have good muscle memory, so practice at home if you need to. Um, I think we're all expert injectors uh, that uh, do this area, so it might not be as relevant for this area, but when you're first starting, you want to make sure that you're injecting in a way that makes sense to you. Some people inject this way, like a dart. Some people inject this way. Do whatever makes sense for you. For me, this is what makes sense, okay? So we'll go like this, little tiny poke. Okay, and just on the very surface. You want a okay, K-Tosh? Mm -hmm.
So this area up top tends to be a little bit more sensitive. And what you can do is you can kind of twist the syringe a little bit to minimize the pain. Okay, so we'll do that. There we go. And any little bit of blood just goes away. Okay, there we go.